So 10 months in Sri Lanka, this is my first time seeing a scorpion. And I walk here barefoot all the time. How crazy is this? It's just like right in the sun. Oh my God, he's covered in ants. Is he okay? I should rescue him from all the fire ants. I hope this thing doesn't sting me. I'm super close to it. It's crazy though that ants can actually attack a scorpion. Scorpion. My first time seeing one. You see it every day? Every day you see it. Oh my god. And crap. It's like the same as a scorpion, but this one you'll eat? That one nobody eats. Why? What's the difference, guys? I don't eat that's why I don't eat crabs or lobsters. They look like fucking bugs to me. <laughs> You're not scared? <laughs> you're not you're not scared. <laughs> Walking around barefoot, no shoes. <laughs> What's he gonna do to it? Oh, don't put it to me. <laughs> A little bit danger, yeah? That's why he's walking with no shoes. <laughs> Trying to get it away from here. Go. Go somewhere else. Go next door. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Where are you trying to put it? Over there? Next door? To the sea? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it must be an easier way, guys. I should just like pick it up or something. I guess this is how you, this is how you get rid of scorpions. <sighs> okay, so I am torn because I feel bad for the little scorpion, but at the same time, I definitely don't want that anywhere near us, especially because it is poisonous and it can sting. And we're walking around here barefoot all the time. So I am glad he's getting rid of it. I still, I still feel bad for Scorpion, but I'm glad he's gone. Can't you just use that side? Yeah, sweep it away. There you go. <laughs> Can I just use like this side? Oh shit. Oh. It's on here. It's on this thing. Into the ocean or into the sand? Sand? Huh? Sand? Alright, let's uh... Okay! <laughs> Alright, it's in the sand now. Be careful when you walk on the beach, guys. There's a scorpion here. <laughs> <He's dirty. laughs> All right, so uh, that wasn't very nice, but it's hard when you have a, like a poisonous scorpion. You kind of just want to get rid of it. So I'm sure we could have like been nicer to it, but I honestly, I'm just glad it's it's gone. What would you have done? Tell me, <laughs> like, tell me what would you have done, like? A lot of these things are kind of, uh, you know, there's no easy solution. But anyways, we're going to go fishing today with uh, the owner of this place, Ragna. Another thing, some people don't want to eat, kill fish, but at the same time, it's way better to go with a stick, I mean, uh, a line and go fishing with a line and just catch one fish, go home and eat it for dinner, maybe two fish, hopefully we get lucky, than going to supermarket or even the shops where they use these like long lines like thousands of hooks for kilometers or miles and it got, gets all this bycatch it kills turtles and sharks and other stuff or they use these crazy big nets that just destroy the reef and destroy everything so it's much better just to use a fishing pole i wish everyone would do that be more sustainable
Let's go fishing, guys. Hey guys, so today I am with Ragnar, the owner of Seven Idol Sky here in Kavalana, and we are going fishing just on the beach down the street from the place. What are we gonna catch? Uh, maybe if, uh, butterfish, maybe the uh, snapper, uh, coral fish, whatever. Uh, okay, let's see if uh, Johnny's lucky. It's my first time fishing in Sri Lanka. All right, so we have the bait, it's the calamari. Good luck. Yeah. So part of a uh, fishing tradition is a uh, lion beer. <laughs> Actually, this is my first beer since uh, I came to Sri Lanka. Yeah, first beer. Yeah. So Enjoy for the beer. Thanks. It's tutti. Okay. Cheers. 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 Fishing uh, in the afternoon. It's a good life. Yeah. Enjoy life. Uh, right now, I'm gonna cast mine for me because uh, I'm not very good at this. Okay. This one's gonna be a lucky one. All right, so I got a bite, big fish too. Unfortunately, I probably pulled too hard or something, but the fish took the hook and now we have to replace the hook. Lost the fish. Luckily, master fisherman Ragnar is prepared. <laughs> we have more hooks. Lots of everything, everything. Good job. Oh, Ragnar caught something. Let's see what fish he gets. Very, very nice. Looks like a fighter. It's all bent. He's smart, he's gentle, so he doesn't, doesn't pull too hard. The mistake I think I made was I was pulling as the fish was pulling. That's how the, the line breaks. I need to let it go and then I need to slowly reload it. I gotta have more pain. It's black now, remove spots. And hopefully this one will result in fish. It's a true night fishing guys. Oh Ragnar, caught one. Good job. What kind of what fish is it? Snapper. Oh nice. Nice snapper. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my rod. <laughs> if I can find it in this dark it is. Salad and some coming. Oh, nice. So, this is the fish that you caught. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, nice. And a salad too. Stupti. Ragna. So, big thank you to Ragna at Seven Idol Sky, where I'm staying, for taking me fishing uh, and for the other guy for getting rid of the scorpion. <laughs> big thanks. So, this uh, drone footage is actually of Kabalana Beach, where I'm living, and also where the scorpion and the fishing is so we started on that far end of the beach and we moved all the way to kind of this northern end uh, that we're just passing by here i think it's really cool to be able to just walk out from your hotel i mean imagine that being your business he's been running this for 25 years now imagine just being able to walk outside and fish and just catch one fish and go home and have it for dinner just whenever you want you know I mean, part of it's a hobby, but really it's a great way to sustain yourself if you ever need to get off the grid and kind of get away from everything. So I really love the Sri Lankan life.
What do you guys think? Have you ever been fishing here? And what would you have done with that scorpion? <laughs>